We are starting today with, of course, what you need to have on Madeira, Uludicaco and La Peche. But that's not what this video is about. Can, well, can I say hi too? Yeah, you can say hi. Hi, y'all. Hi. By the way, guys, this video is made possible by Skillshare, an online learning community. But more on that later. Today, we have something special in store for you. We're going to the most special place on Madeira and possibly on the planet. So we found this place uh, pretty randomly actually, but it looks super cute coming from the street. And I have no regrets sitting here because the food is so good. And this is just one example on all these small quirky places that you find in Madeira that it seems like nobody knows about unless they live on the island. And also, May, do you think we have enough food for uh, today? I'm not sure. Or, <laughs> or for lunch at least. I think uh, Lara, Lara? Lara. Lara, she's in coma. One thing I've noticed about Portuguese uh, food in general is that the magical trick is to have something to dip in. It's all about the sauce. And That's what she said. We are going to show paradise. But we've already showed it, shown it several times, so how do we bring a new take to this? We're gonna wing it, you know. Okay, well, that's what we do. Improvise. It's like freestyle rap, but freestyle vlogging. Hi, hi. We are finally a real family here on Madeira. Yeah. Because yeah, this, this is our ride. Our friend uh, Francisco over at Rendaca Madeira, he uh, gave us this. And um, now we have the room for all our shit because we have like five suitcases. Jon is always making fun of his brother's car, which is a Ford Ismac. Now Jon is driving a family car too. I honestly feel like a soccer dad. <laughs> Hi Lara, you wanna go for a ride? Are you ready for paradise, Amelia? Yes.
No, ver. Um. <laughs> Welcome to the mango yard, guys. Some of you might have seen this before, yeah. but uh, this time we have almost relaxed more than we ever have done here. If I relax one inch more, don't say it out loud. I will have brown shorts. It's been raining all day today. It's been wonderful. But you know, it sucks. But it it doesn't suck that much because we have just been sitting here and listening to the waves playing cards Du tager den bunke hver gang. Hver eneste gang altså. Ja. Det er fordi at der tit den tit lige kan hjælpe mig lidt bunke. <laughs> the reason why we love to come out here is because we relax much more than we do any other place. I don't think this place deserves uh, more introduction because this is our fourth or fifth video here, if not sixth. Um, but they have a couple of other teepees here, but this is the biggest uh, one they have. And we even have our own kitchen here. Yeah. And we will take advantage of that. Let's take a quick break to thank our sponsor Skillshare. So Skillshare is one of these companies that we are super proud to work with. It's one of the greatest tools to create your own future. Back in 2014, I worked as a TV and internet supporter. For five years! I hated it, more than anything. Then I started looking into earning an online income. I looked into SEO and affiliate marketing. I had to learn everything the hard way. It was super hard, uh, but it actually led to a new and better life. And suddenly I was living life on my own terms. And it was probably the main reason that I met Amelia. I've worked as a cashier in a supermarket. Beep, 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 beep. I worked as a call center boy. Essentially, it's up to you whether you want to learn about filmmaking or earning uh, an online income. On Skillshare, you have some of the best people to teach you the things you need to change the course of your life. Skillshare really can be the path to a new and better life for you. And for less than $10 a month, it's definitely worth the try. The first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a free trial on Skillshare Premium Membership. Back to the video. Here in Madeira, we get a lot of bolo de caco. But there is only one real bolo de caco, and that is this one. Because this one is made like they used to make it back in the day. This is 500 grams of tasty epicness. Yes. And um, it's kind of weird that you don't really get these at restaurants, Amelia. It's because they are... Did you just take a bite from it? No, I didn't. I didn't.
Oh, the Mona Lisa of bread. We don't want the healthy stuff. That is what's it's too it gives the flavor. Oh. <laughs> Birthday cake. Lara. I'm having a dinner with Lara. What do you think you're doing, Lara? Not as juicy as last time, Amelia. I told you to use more butter. How dare you? All the juices are in this piece. How dare you? No? Juices. And she totally redeemed herself. And totally redeem yourself! <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a, a holy grail on, on the same level as the Bull de Caca because this is more your peedy peedy from uh, the best chicken place in uh, the world, probably. Yeah. Uh, Oya Oya, we went there in our last video. Hoya Hoya. Hoya Hoya, this is delicious. You like it? Mm -hmm. Look at his robe, it's so Robin and his merry man. Está bien, gracias. Oh, you tell him fryer fuck. I gotta say that um, this rain literally never stops. So we asked Nunu, and Nunu he was like, this guys never happens. This is very rarely that you have like three days of pouring rain in a strike. Hey, by the way, Mary, what are you doing? You're not eating Portuguese. I feel like spaghetti. Force picado, round two. Fight. I am beautiful, I am bountiful, I am blissful. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And every single one... But you already know that, Nona, right? Of course we know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, guys, it was we, we, we weren't supposed to have you on the video, but... Um, we are having tea with Nuno this time, yeah. which is nice. Nuno, you've been hiding um, up in a volcano while it's been raining, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I love rain. But but Thank do you. you like rain to this extent? Like every day for like uh, three days? Is that uh, something? Do you still find positive aspects of... Uh, I love working with the rain. Yes. Uh, and get wet. I am more productive when it's raining. If we find time, you know, uh, we can do a hike with you. If it's possible. Yes. No promises uh, for, for you guys out here. But you know, you every time you see you see Nuno, it's here at Canto das Fontes, and it would be nice to see you interact with nature beyond this place. Yeah. Ah, that's a that's an invitation. It's really exciting invitation. It's it's an, an invitation that you can only say yes to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But Nuno, how do you feel? Because we haven't been here since February with the camera, we were actually here in August. But you have lost weight and you look happier, you look healthier. healthier. Why you. is that? Is there a little love in your life? <laughs> <laughs> there's always love, as I say. But yes, there's another um, person. Uh, it's wonderful. I'm so a happy, lucky, we're so happy lady. for you, no, no. She knows more plants, she has a... She more. knows more about plants than you do? Oh, definitely. She that has a better connection. There's a, is a natural connection. Natural is that is that is that just your beating love that's talking now? No, it's, the, it's my feminine side talking. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, it's um, it's quite interesting that uh, uh, she, she's working with her masculine side and I'm working with my feminine side. I see. So we are we are complementing each other. Okay, but where's your masculine side? It's, in, I, it's in, in me. So you're not neglecting the masculine side? No, not really. It's just emphasizing. Okay. Yeah. I get it. It's like mm. she drags out the feminine side in you and you drags out the masculine side in her. Basically, you're practicing emotions and she's practicing logic. This is you trying to be funny. <laughs> you bad. Come on, that's funny. That's funny. Are we making a fire, Nona? We're gonna make the fire. Ugh. 
There's nobody who can make a fire like Nuno. Ah. <laughs> you know it, you know oh, it, Nuno. No. You know it. <laughs> it's all about the Nuno touch. Okay, it's coming. That's what she said. Why, why are we drinking tea? It's boiling hot. This is morning. It's good. <laughs> tea doesn't make any sense. Why Happiness. would you? You would only drink tea if you live in Alaska. It's too early to argue, Jorn. It's too early. Do I have a point? Welcome to paradise, the sunny edition. Oh, this is nice. Oh my god. <laughs> see you, Nuno. See you, see you soon. We'll see you soon. Yes. We'll see each other soon. Yes, for sure. Uh, Always a pleasure, Nuno. <laughs>